Hi, Pagan Shooter here. <clears throat> I am here to talk about the High Point JCP 40 caliber handgun. Uh, this is <laughs> one that gets a really bad rap, I think. Um, one thing you notice about these things right away is they're huge. They're gigantic. Oh, let's, I guess, start off with the uh, safety check first. Obviously, I always check my guns, but nothing in the chamber and the magazine is not in the only two magazines i have are right here uh as i was saying um these get a really bad rap they're huge they're gigantic they're bulky um but they function um in fact there's more than enough uh videos that you'll find online showing that these function until they are just completely destroyed or melted. Um, there are some very famous ones that, uh, like Iraq Veteran 8888, who had literally just destroyed the thing. They even had, took one of these and they bored it out and made it a 10 millimeter, and it still functioned 100% fine. I believe they did that with the... Um, uh, 4095 as well, but so these get a really bad rap. Now, I haven't really talked about this one for the plain and simple fact that it's not one of my favorite guns. Um, it, I have a 40 cal that I enjoy much more. I've shown it several times. It's a Smith and Wesson uh, M and P 40. Um, but this is one I got when I was thinking of getting back into shooting a few, quite a few years ago. Um, and I, I basically, this is one of the things that got me going. Now, one of the downsides to this gun, and I will tell you, is it is big, it's bulky, it's heavy. Um, with the magazine, you get even bigger and bulkier and heavier. Um, but... One thing is, if you look, the slide comes really low. So if you take a high position with your hand, it's going to bite you, especially when it jumps. Uh, and I have been sli uh, slide bit by this. Uh, you can see my hand, I've got a scar from it. So I have to say that that, if you are a shooter, if you do shoot one of these, you do, ha you can't let the webbing of your hand go up high. Uh, otherwise, you will end up getting slide bit. Now, it is a 10-round magazine. This is the only magazine size that they offer for the high point. Uh, there are people out there that have modified 1911 magazines. I've attempted it. It worked for a very short amount of time, and then it became very unreliable. Um, there are replacement parts for the magazine injector, which will allow you to use 1911 magazines. Um, I don't know how well that'll work. I haven't tried it, so I'm not going to talk about that. As far as accuracy, it is very accurate. The sight image is actually quite good. Uh, if you look down there, you can see that the sight picture is pretty good. Uh, there we go. There we go. You should be able to see that. Sight picture is pretty good. Um, however, once again, it's it's bulky. It's heavy. It's not a carry pistol. In my opinion, this is more of a, and this is my opinion, uh, this is more of a just take it to the range or home protection. In fact, that's what I used it for uh, before I had actually gotten uh, my other 40 cal. I actually had gotten a very inexpensive uh, flashlight. Uh, in fact, it was a BB gun flashlight to fit the Weaver rail on the front here. And uh, I put it on there and I got a couple of screws and I screwed it into the polymer base. You'll see that the, uh, the up here in the around the rail, there is a hole. There's a matching one on the other side where I had screwed it on. And uh, it, the flashlight worked. I was able to just flip my finger down and turn it on, and the flashlight would light up the room, which is exactly what I wa wanted it to do. Um, I have taken it out and shot it many times. 
the grips, much like the C9, are very slick. Uh, they do uh, they do not uh, offer much as far as grip. So you'll notice here I have uh, went ahead and I painted it with the Rust-Oleum uh, uh, textured paint. And as I've had it and used it, it actually has lost some of the texturing, but it's still better than uh, what it was when I first got the gun. Um, now the high point uh, emblems I have uh, uh, scratched off or ground off and I had my wife go ahead and create a uh, family crest and uh, encase that in uh, resin in the grip. So it gives a little more personalized look. My C9 has the same grips and uh, when I had to send that in when I accidentally blew up my gun uh, with one of my reloads they went ahead and they sent it back so good on you high point um so as far as safeties this one actually has several safeties um i removed one which is the safety that uh you cannot fire the pistol without a magazine in it i have removed that i don't believe that you should have that kind of safety i think that is silly um as long as you use some intelligence and check your weapons properly you shouldn't need that kind of safety. Uh, the other safety is here. It's a slide lock safety. It slide, holds the slide open. You uh, push the slide back, push the uh, safety up, and it locks in place. To release, you just drop the, you hold the slide back, drop the safety, and it slides forward. Also in this position, it will hold, it is a safety. Function uh, trigger will not function with that safety on. Um, as far as um, pistols, the uh, or as far as materials, the trigger, the base, the uh, pistol grip, the grips themselves, the um, base of the gun is all polymer, uh, except for the serial number plate, which is embedded. Um, the, the magazine release is also polymer. The safety is metal. I believe it is steel. The slide is a zinc alloy, the zinc alloy material. And, um, the barrel is, is steel and it is a pretty burly, uh, pretty burly barrel. It is a fixed barrel. So the accuracy on this is actually pretty good um it's simple blowback just like all the other high points so that keeps the cost down not a lot of uh high-end moving parts um but it does keep the weight of it really high uh this is i would say probably twice the width of my uh 45 my 1911 45 and it is definitely longer and wider than my smith and wesson mp40 um, the, the ergonomics of it, it points pretty decent. It's not a high end weapon. So the point pointability of it really isn't affected by that, but the function, the feel of it, you can tell it's a, it's a lower end weapon. However, functionality or function wise, it works. And I would say Anybody that has a limited income or is limited by how much money they have, I mean, it's not a bad alternative. The, these high points get a really bad uh, rap when it comes to fun, uh, when it comes to their price point. Um, this one I picked up for 50, 150 bucks, and it was brand new in the box. Came with a single magazine. I bought a second magazine for I believe fifteen dollars which try to find a high-end weapon with a factory $15 magazine. You, you won't find that um, unless you're looking at say like the Phoenix Arms. Um, but so it, it is a low-end weapon as far as cost. As far as quality, um, they back it up with a lifetime guarantee and they I mean and they back that up with their actually following through with it. Uh, now, I've dealt with High Point. Uh, this one, the springs, from the factory springs that it came with, uh, for the uh, firing pin, the firing springs, they were 
they went weak after a while. I called them up. They sent me a new set. No questions asked. Uh, and they, they arrived very quickly. I've dealt with quite a few other companies, uh, including Smith & Wesson and including Taurus. And, you know, I had to wait. Um, and I, there was an argument. So good on you once again, High Point. So a High Point JCP 40 cal. Um, a decent um, possibility for people who are on a budget. Uh, if you have no other choice and you don't have the extra money, this is a viable solution to your self-protection, and including your home. Um, what do you think? Uh, go ahead and leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and uh, share this video. This is Pagan Shooter. Thank you.